Okay guys, these are dumbbell pullovers, okay? So what I want you to do is position the back of your shoulders on the bench, okay? What I usually do is I hold the dumbbell here. I'll dip one side, okay? So because I'm right-handed, I like to dip on my right side, okay? Dip one side, put the elbow down to support yourself, okay? And then you're coming down to the back of your shoulders, okay? You can either do that or keep the dumbbell position here, get into that position first, okay? And then you're grabbing the dumbbell and lifting it over. So you're resting on your chest, okay? Get in that position so your knees are wider than your shoulders, which I find gives you more stability. Okay, your heels are directly underneath your knees. You're pushing, your, you're squeezing your glutes at the top to start. Okay, and now what I'm doing is I'm holding the dumbbell this way, okay, with my hands flat. So my palms are flat against the face of the dumbbell like that. Okay, so we're just resting, I'm not applying too much pressure there. Okay, keeping that chest nice and high, shoulders retracted. And what I want you to do is as you fall, so the movement is falling back like this, keeping the slight bend in the elbows and pulling up right. But what I want you to do is drop your hips slightly. That's going to create more stretch through your lats, okay, and open up those intercoat muscles a little bit more. So that ribcage is going to open, okay, dropping those hips simultaneously to dropping the arms. Only get as much pressure as you need to, otherwise, if you get to too much, you might get too much shoulder action. You're coming through, keeping that chest nice and high, okay, and imagine trying to pull push the elbows together at the top. So elbows coming, squeezing through at the top, okay? And we're getting a bit of a chest squeeze here. And then just lowering down when you're done. And if you can, lower onto the bench in a safe way, or just drop it on the ground on the side, to the side.